So hi, Microbe Hunter here again, Oliver that is. Look what I've got here, um, another low cost uh, microscope. Uh, this one is, uh, as the name already implies, it's for children. And I wanna do another product review here. Um, I would like to thank the company microscope.com uh, uh, for sending it to me and uh, to have a closer look at it. Um, if you're interested in the product, uh, please uh, do check uh, the link uh, in the description. Um, there are a lot of emails that I get uh, where people ask me about uh, low cost microscope microscopes uh, and uh, so for this reason I'm kind of happy to have a closer look at this one here. Um, it comes in a box like this um, and uh, simply to show you uh, what is included here, um, total magnification of 40, 100 to 400 times. Uh, it is an LED uh, illumination and so it's battery operated and it has one focusing knob um, and there are a whole bunch of other accessories um, also included. So what I'm going to do right now is, is I'm going to unpack it, um, I'm going to have a closer look at it and I would like to put a few of the specimens that are included um, under the microscope and I would like to show you the pictures as well. So let's uh, get started. Here I'm now of course unpacking it and I was immediately positively surprised because there were two sheets of paper included uh, with links to an introductory video. So children or also adults who do not know how to use a microscope will receive the first important information there and of course also an email and a telephone number. Uh, to contact the company if you need any help. I think that's an absolutely great idea and I've not seen this uh, done before in any other um, microscope. So uh, let's take out uh, the styrofoam box. There is a cardboard box here on the side I found out. Um, so I was kind of wondering what's in it. Um, and as a matter of fact, uh, there are a whole bunch of accessories included. So, but I also found out that there are some nice colorful cards here and uh, they basically describe a variety of microscope activities uh, yeah, that you can do with uh, children and or on your own if you are already grown up and uh, this is the first time that you're uh, confronted with a microscopy. Well, I opened the cardboard box and yes, batteries are included. Um, so, and there are a whole bunch of other accessories as well. Um, like for example, the blue uh, thing, that's a tweezer. There's also a clear Petri dish, uh, dropper pipette uh, for water. Yeah, a whole bunch of uh, accessories and glass slides. Um, also quite nice, uh, it, it came with uh, five glass slides and cover glasses in case you want to make your own uh, slides and also a set of five professionally prepared slides, uh, permanent mounts. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to be looking at them later um, on in the video and I'm going to put them under the microscope and I'm gonna show them to you. So, but for right now, I'm gonna put them back and I'm gonna check uh, what else um, is uh, in the box. So this here is a dust uh, cover, um, yeah, of course, uh, to keep uh, the microscope clean and uh, some more tools, um, for example, for taking uh, samples uh, from the inside of a cheek uh, using the cotton swab. And this is a, called a teasing needle. There is a protective uh, plastic tube over it, otherwise uh, you might hurt yourself because it's quite uh, pointed and sharp. And this needle is used to separate, for example, algae and other um, uh, difficult uh, to separate um, specimens. Yeah, of course, also the instruction manuals are here. So I had a closer look um, at the accessories. Yeah, um, the plastic Petri dish is uh, used to store some water if you want to make a, a temporary mount. Um, and yeah, it looks uh, quite, uh, everything quite nice. So now I wanted to unpack the microscope itself. Of course, it, uh, you have to make sure that the top is on top. You don't want to have the parts uh, falling out. And uh, here we go, here it is. Uh, yeah, it's uh, nice and uh, compact, uh, easily, can be easily transported. Of course, it's a children's microscope and therefore the portability is very important. And I've seen that there is yet another cardboard box in there. So I'm going to have a closer look um, again. It's actually, really, it's the first time that I'm unpacking it here. Um, and ah, yeah, so that is the power adapter, okay? Um, so, of course, uh, you don't have to use it. Uh, you can use it also with uh, non-rechargeable batteries as well, but it plugs in here on, on, the, on the back. And uh, if you don't have any batteries, of course, uh, then you will use the power adapter. Three batteries uh, go in there, so it's uh, 4.5 volts. And uh, yes, it has three objectives, um, four times, 10 times, and 40 times. Um, and there is also a lamp uh, from the top um, and also from the bottom. And the main switch there is able to uh, yeah, switch it off and top light um, or bottom light. And there is also a dial on the side and with that you can regulate the light intensity. 
Um, the LEDs uh, can be exchanged, as a matter of fact. I always am um, checking for that. Uh, not that it's necessary to exchange them, but I generally like uh, the serviceability. Yeah, it's a standard 10 times uh, an eyepiece. It's a glass eyepiece that I've also found on, um, on other microscopes, so the quality is quite fine. And by pressing uh, the back um, of the clip, you're able to raise the clip uh, for slides. Yeah, the three objectives snap into place uh, quite well. Yeah, and uh, here we have the focus knob. Well, it, there is only one focus knob. Uh, in many cases, uh, microscopes actually have a coarse and a fine focus knob, but uh, I think for children it's fine if there's only one. Um, it uh, simplifies everything a little bit uh, more. It's made of metal. Uh, it's also uh, in, in, yeah, for, so solid, for solidity and for stableness uh, and for weight and mass, it's important. I was <laughs> kind of looking for words a little bit now. Um, yeah, um, and uh, I also found that there was a sticker note, light doesn't turn on, adjust the, if the light doesn't turn on you have to adjust the dimmer switch. So apparently some people <laughs> switched on the light and forgot to turn up uh, the dimmer and therefore it didn't work. Yeah, so these are all of the parts um, unpacked and I want to have now a closer look at those uh, cards, that uh, those colorful information cards uh, that came along. So here they are. Yeah, so microscope basics, crime scene investigations, plants, the human body, insects uh, on a variety of different topics. I think uh, it was quite uh, of a nice quality and it basically explained front and back yeah, and it basically explained the different activities um, that can be done. Of course for me being a teacher in my non-microscopy life so to say, I teach biology, it's of course uh, also quite uh, interesting. Yeah, here I'm connecting now a digital USB camera so and I just want to put now some of the specimens under the microscope and here this is a wing of a bee. I'm using um, a software called Tube Light and I'm able to uh, use the software also to take pictures to make measurements and all of these things. Yeah I'm focusing back and forth I've not uh, changed the magnification and uh, yeah uh, it's a uh, yeah, now of course I have to make everything a little bit brighter because when you go up with the magnification the image becomes darker. So yeah, it works uh, quite nicely. You can see the individual hair of the wing of, of, of the bee, the different the vessels and the veins of the bee which uh, give the wing structure and strength. And so it's, of course, as expected, it's uh, quite nice. Uh, so this is now, I'm using the 10 times magnifying um, uh, objective here. So uh, what else? Yeah, I'm going to switch uh, even to a yet a higher magnification. Now this is uh, 40 times. And now we can see that the individual little hair start uh, to become significantly larger. Um, of course, I focused back and forth as, as well. And you can see it's, it's possible, even if there's no fine focus, um, it is uh, still possible to be precise enough. So it does not have a condenser, the microscope. Uh, this, of course, again, simplifies everything a little bit for children. Um, but uh, this, uh, of course, does not allow me to control the depth um, of field. Um, but then again, this is something that's normal for introductory and uh, children's microscopes. You want to keep the system simple and also low cost. But you can see that um, with a 400 times total magnification, 40 times objective, plus uh, multiplied with a 10 times eyepiece, I'm getting a sufficiently decent uh, result. So I'm just going to show you right now um, also the different uh, slides. Um, yeah, and uh, I'm going to put them uh, under the microscope uh, as well. And uh, simply to show you this is how I have uh, connected everything. So here's the USB camera, um, which I got obtained separately and next to my computer. So of course this allows you also to do a live microscopy without having to look through the microscope itself. So this now these are onion cells, uh, four times uh, of, with a four times objective. Um, so again, this is now with a ten times uh, magnifying objective. The little dots that you see in the cells, of course, these are the nuclei, cross section of a of a stem. Of tilia is called the plant, called yet at a higher magnification. Again, uh, I there is no condenser here to adjust uh, contrast and depth of field. So you can see a little bit. Uh, how the quality is like and it's quite uh, quite nice. So the leg of a fly, um, again that's the permanent mount that I showed you uh, before here at a higher magnification that's the the front the tip part uh, of a fly leg. These are some water fleas. So I now wanted to use a, a top illumination and I put some sand under the microscope and I wanted to now test the lamp uh, 
from the microscope with a lamp from the top, focusing back and forth. Uh, yeah, of course, uh, you see that the depth of field as expected is quite low. And what I did then is I took several pictures and I stacked the images together. So to make a, a picture that is completely in focus all the way through, look at this. Yeah, so even this is possible. So I was uh, quite satisfied with that as well. So what are now some of the differences of this microscope uh, to other comparable microscopes for children? Well, there are two differences as a matter of fact. Uh, one difference is that uh, this microscope uh, only has one focus knob. That's an advantage and a disadvantage at the same time. Um, the advantage is, is that uh, children have an easier time probably because uh, they don't have to switch back and forth between the two focus knobs. But the disadvantage, of course, is, is that you need a slightly more stable and steady hand when you're focusing, especially when you're using the high uh, power um, objective, the 40 times of an objective. But as I've showed you, I was even able to do an image stack. So it is possible to focus very precisely. You just need to be a little bit, uh, you need a steady hand for that. And uh, a second uh, difference is, is that uh, this microscope has uh, also top illumination. So there is not only light coming from the bottom, but also from the top. And uh, that's pretty nice because uh, this allows you to actually see uh, specimens that are opaque. So this means uh, specimens that are not transparent and, and uh, therefore it's possible to take a certain specimens and simply put them on the microscope slide or on the microscope stage rather and then observe it uh, with light coming from the top. I've done this uh, with sand and uh, I was even able to stack the images together. So I think uh, for today this should be enough. Uh, do leave your comments behind. Uh, do also please um, check out the links below. I put a link both uh, to the microscope and also to the camera that I used. I think I'm just gonna say happy micro hunting. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing. See you around next time. Bye bye.